find studs and those all-important stud centers, make sure your Wallabot is calibrated and select Images Mode. Place the Wallabot flat and vertically on the wall and start scanning in a straight line. Okay, we found a stud. Let's confirm it by continuing for a moment and then returning to the same spot and moving up and down along the length of the stud. Now, what you really want to know is the location of the stud center. If you drill into the edge of a stud, there could be trouble down the line. So move the Wallabot real slow over the stud and mark your drilling position right in the middle of the two dotted lines. Okay, time to grab your drill. Wallabot works the same way for horizontal studs. Just rotate the device through 90 degrees and start scanning. Now, if you see nearby object displayed on the screen, it's either two objects close to each other or there's an unidentified object inside the wall. Obviously, you want to stay clear of that. So, switch to expert mode. We've got a separate video explaining that to confirm that there's something there. Top tip, it's always best to get the big picture by scanning the largest possible area. Your studs, of course, will usually be 16 to 20 inches apart, but by scanning the whole wall, you'll detect any pipes and wires so you won't have any unpleasant surprises if you're fitting kitchen cabinets or doing another big job. That's it, happy scanning and successful drilling.